upon the visionary who laid the foundation today for the future of the whole planet, for driving the whole planet towards clean energy, none other than the Honorable Chief Minister Y.S. Jagan, sir. wonderful moment, something historic is being created and we are all party to something like that. I extend my warm greetings to all my cabinet colleagues and respected members of assembly and parliament as well as the managing director of Green Co Group, Sri Anil, and other key officials of Green Co Group, and as well as officials and of government of Andhra Pradesh, and other invitees as well. At the outset, I like to convey my appreciation for this initiative of this. Green Co Group for setting up the world's largest integrated renewable energy storage project in Karnal district. In fact, 5,230 megawatt of long duration energy storage project delivering cost effective, firm flexible and round-the-clock clean energy project. In fact, uh, the beauty of this project is it envisages clean energy around the clock. It's a mix of uh, pump storage, it's a mix of wind project, wind power, it's a mix of solar together. During the non-peak hours, a certain component of the solar and the wind is used to pump the water back into the reservoir to utilize the water during the peak hours. So this is an integrate. This is an, a, a project which envisages around-the-clock renewable energy generation. In fact, uh, what we see today would stand out for the future of this country. In fact, what Andhra Pradesh today is showcasing will be the triggering point for this entire country to follow in the days to come when the usage of fossil fuels would take a back seat and renewable energy would take a front, front row seat. In fact, uh, this uh, pump storage capacity that we speak of, which is around 1680 megawatt, combined with a solar capacity of 3000 megawatt and a wind capacity of 550 megawatt, all put together with an investment of $3 billion, you're talking about this capacity of 5230 megawatt coming up here. In fact, uh, this would uh, decarbonize the economies going forward. Uh, there are no limits to what can be produced through green energy. We are talking about green hydrogen, we are talking about uh, green ammonia, we are talking about ArcelorMittal now coming up with green steel. An arsenal meter is also part of uh, this endeavor, what is being built here, wherein they are taking around about 250 megawatt of firm power and around about 1000 megawatt of renewable energy is being created exclusively for that, pur for that purpose to supply firm power of 250 megawatt. 
in another state so this would be a game changer in the days to come and andhra pradesh state offers an exclusive opportunity for many of them who are interested in green power who are interested in decarbonizing the economies our topography is such that we have a capacity of more than 33000 megawatt available so this is going to be one project which would be which would be showing the light for this entire country how green power could be generated and i wish anil and his entire team all the very best not only have they conceived this but actually they are showing it to the world that this can actually be developed this can actually be done this is something incredible all my best wishes for the entire team particularly anil for this grand endeavor and any support from our end from the state of andhra pradesh we would be extending you all the support that you require and we are available to you just keep that in mind my support will always be there i wish you once again all the very best all the very best thank you thank you very much sir in fact without your support nothing today would be possible thank you for laying foundation towards sustainability and clean energy and now may i request our jmd mahesh kohli sir to step over to give the vote of thanks and post vote of thanks we will be giving a token of gratitude to our guests of honor and the honorable minister over to you. over to the jmd mahesh sir Uh, uh, on behalf of green co and its stakeholders i would like to propose this vote of thanks uh, it's been great honor to have our honorable chief minister here uh, really laying the foundation for uh, much deeper decarbonization and and sustainability uh, for the country and for the next generation and pouring the first concrete for the largest renewable energy storage project uh, globally we like to thank uh, all other dignitaries on the dais and distinguished guests uh, gracing this momentous occasion uh, thanks again for all the time for visiting uh, the project uh, for all our partners all our uh, you know uh, all the, thanks a lot for all the green co leadership team and and the team and, and the employees working with us um, and